It always catches up to you before you realise, swallowing you whole, dragging you down to a pit where you can hardly climb out of. It, for me, it started a few years ago, back then. I kind of drifted away from people. As I drifted away, the more and more depth I fell into the pit. I started to choke on the, the feeling of isolation. So I distanced myself even more. It was a vicious cycle. And then something happened and that was the first time I did it. At that time I felt nothing, I couldn't feel anything, I felt so, so numb. So I had to do anything, anything I could, just to get a feeling. It didn't matter what feeling, I just didn't want to feel empty inside. First time it happened, it hurt, but that's what I wanted to achieve. After a while, everything died down. I didn't do it as much, but then a couple years later, and I broke. It swallowed me up. Then the voices came. I don't mean like a personality, but the voices saying, you're not good enough. You can be so much better, it's all your fault. Why can't you be normal? Sometimes I feel like I'm one of the lucky ones. Because there are those out there that cannot climb their way out of that deep dark hole. Where you are questioning yourself, is the pain worth it? And people just say, just cheer up, you're just sad, it's, it's always a better day tomorrow and it's not like that at all. Because the, the pain behind the sadness, it hurts. We never just recover. We just learn to cope with it. They say that once you suffered with it once, you're prone to suffering it again. It's never just recovering and then suffering it again. It's a constant suffering. It's never just, oh, I'm better now and then seven or seven months or a year down the line you're back to square one it's it's still the same problem and while you're suffering you try and fit in because no one understand no one really understands how you feel unless you you've gone through it yourself so you pretend to be something you're not you you make yourself into someone else. You pretend to be this person, this this mask, where you're usually outgoing or you're usually usually wear makeup. You usually pretend to be be adventurous and spontaneous when deep down you're not. Deep down you just want to hide away and never go out. You feel so trapped within your own mind and it becomes the battlefield. You try and fight these feelings and sometimes you win but sometimes you just can't. You become unresponsive no matter how many times people try and call out to you. You just can't answer. And then you think I'm tired of feeling like this. I'm tired of feeling like 
I'm hurting every single day. I'm tired of arguing with myself, trying to prove that I am worth it. I am the best I can be. But no matter how hard you try, waiting, waiting until you feel weak, and then it springs back at you again. Some people can't tolerate that pain anymore. Some people can't live with the fact that they're pushing other people away. They want to be back to normal again. They want to be with people that understand them and, and just feel happy for once. Yes, it hurts, but we have to try and cope for me sometimes it's just better to just to sleep sleep away the pain sleep away the isolation that negativity in your own head even if it's just temporary